Texas lawmakers head back to Austin for a special legislative session tomorrow. One topic noticeably missing from the agenda is the Texas power grid and preventing another tragedy like February's big freeze. Fox 26's Natalie, he spoke to one Houston family who's very concerned that fixing the grid isn't a priority. She's joining us live now and Natalie I understand that's not just one person. There's so many people feeling the same way. That's right, Rashi. So many Texas families can relate to this concern. This family in particular tells me they were living in panic for several days without power. Their special needs daughter, they say she could have died because she relies on three separate breathing machines just to function. Now they're concerned that lawmakers aren't taking this issue seriously. This is not a third world country. This is the energy capital of the world, and it's a little crazy that that the citizens are, are not protected. Among the list of issues Texas lawmakers will address at the special legislative session that begins Thursday are violent crime, election integrity, and border security. But one topic completely missing is the Texas power grid, as well as the impending question of its reliability, particularly in the midst of hurricane season. ERCOT and the reliability of our energy source is what is still on people's mind. It's not on the call. Uh, I personally believe we're no better prepared for the next freeze than we were the last one. They would like for us to think <laughs> that the problem is taken care of when in fact it is not. For Laura Taylor and her family in Katy, losing power for days at a time during the February freeze became a matter of life and death. Her daughter, Julie, has a rare form of epilepsy and relies on battery-operated machines for breathing and treatment. Their house now equipped with a generator. Peace of mind should not be a commodity that's bought. Um, peace of mind should come from knowing that you live in a, a state that takes care of its residents and that when you pay your electric bill, you actually have electricity and you have it in the most dangerous times. Laura wishes there was more consideration for those with chronic or critical needs, just like her daughter, Julie. You know, I understand being a pro-business state. I am a pro-business person myself. My, my husband is, you know, in a, in a small business, but not be pro-business at the sacrifice of the residents that live in the state. Now, earlier this week, Governor Abbott issued a letter to the Public Utility Commission demanding that they take more aggressive action on fixing issues with the power grid. Natalie He reporting Fox 26 News.